Komu Murwa Batsumi. Those are some of the songs jazz icon Jonas Gwangwa will be remembered for. He was laid to rest today after a special provincial funeral in Johannesburg. Ndate Kaifa Semenya joins me now to talk about the life of his fellow musician. But let's first listen to a snippet of Gwangwa's music. Let's bring in Tate Kaifa Semenya. Now, Mr. Semenya, thank you so much for your time. Ah, what beautiful songs your friend is leaving us with, eh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Gawa had a special way of writing. Mm. His, uh, all his compositions had a different style. Mm. Mm. No, it's just incredible. Your friendship with him goes back to exile. You, you've known him since, is it 1961? No, I've known him from the 50s. Ooh, okay. It must have been, yeah, it must have been 1956 mm. when I first met him. Um, because he played with uh, the Huddleston Jazz Band. Mm -hmm. He and he, and of course, and other, other guys too. But the two of them were more or less my age, you know? Yeah. So we kind of clicked. I sang with the Cat and Jama kids, so now and then we would meet at concerts, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and we would have conversations and we got to know each other because we would meet in almost all the concerts that uh, they would be playing at and we would be doing the same thing. So, um, yeah, I've yeah. known him that long since mm -hmm. we were boys. <laughs> What are you remembering about those days in exile? Well, in exile, I, mean, <laughs> I think I was saying this uh, this morning at the, at, at uh, his tweet that um, you know there are so many things about exile with us, with Jonas and Hugh, the three of us as a group. Um, I can I cannot tell it in two or three minutes. I mean, it needs a whole book. But a lot of things that we did is when we traveled to uh, Houston, Texas. Mm. This was Wayne Henderson's family mm. home, where Wayne came from. But we were going to perform in Houston, Texas. And I remember uh, Wayne's mother invited us to lunch. She had cooked lunch for us. And the food, because Gwangwa is a connoisseur of food, he used to really cook. He could cook. Mm. And uh, after we had uh, the breakfast, I mean, uh, the lunch, the, the meal, you know, it was sumptuous. It was really great what uh, Wayne's mother had done. But she had cooked other things like uh, 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 pumpkin uh, bean pie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bean pie and uh, sweet potato pie mm. and uh, some chitlings, some of these things you won't know. And mm. after that, <laughs> Gwangwa, of course, made a comment, you know, <laughs> to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, she, she can really put them together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to cook. Yeah, no, it sounds like... <laughs> you know, it sounds like he knew how to cook. But, but he was also quite a jovial character. He, he was quite a jovial character, uh, always cracking jokes. 
And I think this is what we heard when you were giving your tribute this morning. What are you going to miss about the friendship that you shared with him? I'm going to miss a lot, uh, a lot of discussions that we had, political discussions, geopolitics, mm. you know, uh, um, national politics, you know, politics of the AU, and uh, of course then we would come into music and we would discuss the youth of today, which direction we are heading with music, and uh, some of the conclusions we came to was that um, there was no other way they could have learned some of the things that we learned from our elders. Mm. Because today the radio and the television are so strong, they show everything American. So the kids are exposed all the time to this. So there's not much of uh, what we are doing as African people. And I'm talking about people like Boringo, Botan Chantizomazwa. You don't see them a lot on television. Mm. And you don't hear their music that much, but you do hear American music. So these are things that we used to talk about mm. and other things. Yeah. Dr. Kaifa Semenya, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you on ENCA this evening.